Hi everyone, this is Tara Ross with edjourneys.com. Today I want to walk you through adding a Pinterest board to your WordPress site. Um, the reasons that you might want to do this are um, you want to monetize your website in some way or you want to just link um, one social media platform with another to make it easier for your users. For example, over on my website at journeys.com, I have a travel store and um, all this is is just an embedded um, part of my Pinterest board where I have um, pins that link to my Amazon account, affiliate account, um, where people can purchase things that I recommend. Um, so that makes it real nice. I've got the board embedded right on my page um, and folks can just click on this and it'll take them right to my Pinterest page. However, I also have a page um, for teachers called Favorite OERs, that means Open Educational Resources, and um, I didn't embed the page. I just took a screenshot of my Pinterest account uh, or my pin board, and um, I put it, I linked it with a hyperlink to my Pinterest page. Um, and I don't really quite like this as much, so I think I'm going to create a um, embedded OER pin board on my Ed Journeys account and make us a, a new page. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, go to my dashboard or go to the back end of my WordPress site and add a new page. I put in a new title, Open Educational Resources, and um, I added the um, the text at the beginning of the page that I had on the other one. And so now what I need to do is go and grab the code. So I'm back at my Pinterest account and um, what I'm going to do is copy and paste this um, URL for my pin board titled Open Educational Resources. And then I'm going to go to the Pinterest widget and I just found that by googling the words Pinterest widget and it's the first link that comes up. And what you're going to do is decide what kind of widget you want to add to your website. Um, you can add a pin it button, a follow button, a widget um, to add like you might have a Google badge or a Facebook like box or something like that. Um, a profile widget to show your different boards or a board widget to show pins within a specific board. So I'm going to do the board widget and all I need to do then is paste um, that URL from my board and click on build it. And it's going to show me a preview of what the board will look like. And so I'm going to grab, start grabbing um, this code. I have to do it in a couple of different pieces here. So I'll take that first one and I'll copy it, go over to my page, go to text, and then I'm going to um, add in some code here. I'm going to click on the, the, head, the tab for code. Okay, oops. <laughs> Hold on. Just got really small on me. And then I'm going to paste that um, first piece of code. Go back to the widget builder and I'm going to click on advanced and get the second part of the code. Make sure I got all of it there, yep. And I'm going to paste that and then I'm going to do a um, close code. And then I am going to click on update. And let's click on preview and see what it looks like. And there we go. Okay, right now I just have it set as private until I got it fixed the way I wanted it to be. And then, but there's my text. Here's my embedded um, Pinterest pin board. If I click on it, it's going to open a new window and take me right to my Pinterest pin board. So I hope you have found that helpful. And if you um, want to learn any more about social media or location independence or travel, please join me over at edjourneys.com to learn more. 
Thanks. Have a great day.